All right, guys, welcome back at the Motion PS Studios. Now, today we have an undervolting tutorial for this RTX 3070 Ti. This one is a PNY Accelerate model, but it's gonna be the same for every GTA RTX, sorry, 3070 Ti, which is in the world. Anyway, let's get back into it. So, now what you will need is MS Afterburner, Heaven Benchmark, and that's it. You will have them in the description down below. Now, first thing, open up Heaven Benchmark, okay? Now, let's pull it up. And now, let me tell you, I will give you two presets. The first one is a high performance one, which is the one I recommend. The second one is if you really want to drop your temperature. Now, by undervolting, you will drop your temperature, drop your power, and with my undervolt, increase the performance. So now, at this point, once you have a heaven benchmark running, pull up MS Afterburner. And now, here we go. Press Ctrl F on the keyboard to open the curve editor. Now, at this point, just have one, have one next to the other. And now, pretty simple, you will go on the core clock and set minus 200, okay, do it. At this point, hit apply. Now, once you've done it, you want to go to the 900 point on the X axis on the graph. Grab it and bring it up until on the left it says 1900 flat okay now at this point hit apply okay now go on your 1900 point here 900 1900 okay just go on top of it and now this is an extra step if you want to do it but just hit l to lock the frequency and at this point, hit apply. Now, if you don't hit L, it's gonna work uh, the, the same, but basically, uh, in this way, it's never gonna drop, uh, even if, you know, at idle, it will stay up. So it will give you a bit more stability. So I personally run it like that on my personal system. Now, at this point, the undervolt is done, but you want to go on the memory clock and give it plus 1000, okay? Just go there. Now every RTX 3070 Ti is gonna be able to get plus 1000. So now the profile is done, just save it and that's it. Now let's get into the second profile, okay? Second version. Now we'll reset for the purposes of this video. And again, hit Ctrl F to get this one. Now minus 200. Now this time grab the 850 points and just bring it up to exactly 18,000, okay? At this point, hit apply, same thing, go on it, hit L, and then hit apply, and then here, give it plus 1,000. Perfect, undervolting and memory overclocking all in one, done. This will give you more performance and it will be stable. A couple other voltage points I recommend if you wanna spend the extra time. Uh, on most cards, in my card, you can. You can get 1800 uh, working on the 825 voltage point. Now, if you don't wanna test this, just copy my previous settings. If you wanna test this, I will give you another one. At the 1900, voltage point you can generally get a bit more than 1900 you can get like 1925 and if you go all the way up to 19 sorry 925 on the voltage you can generally get 1950 so that's about it regarding the memory clock if you want to be like if it's not working for you do 800 literally every rtx 470 i on this planet will do 800 so do it um, most cards can do 1200. So if you feel a bit uh, willing to test this, uh, I would go with 1200. Uh, this is my personal profile, let me show it to you. Uh, it's basically, um, oh sorry, I, I saved it on top of it. But it's basically, it was uh, at 13,000 memory clock on 1900 megahertz. So that's about it. Well, let me know what you think about this one guys and see you in the next one, bye.